Welcome everybody to Trades of the Week, where myself, Marcus De Maria, and Keith, one of our trader coaches, is going to take us through what we're getting into, what we're getting out of, when, how, etc., and so forth. <laughs> Keith, what's happened in the last week? Let's have a look at the Buffalo first. Perfect. So in the last week, we had a couple of trades running. The first one is Nova, so Sun Nova Energy. And in this one, we have now been taken out at break even as of yesterday. Mm. So this just shows the importance of trade management, right? As you are in profit, allowing uh, your stop loss to come lower. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we always say is never turn a profitable trade into a losing trade. And that's why we move our stop loss down. So break even on that. The next one is apps, so digital turbine, and unfortunately we've had a 1% loss um, as of the end of last week, but that's just the nature of the game. After that, we have Aronix Corporation, ARNC, and once again, unfortunately, that has been taken out as a 1% loss. After that, we had VRT Holdings, um, and and <laughs> What's another going on? loss. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Is another loss. So there's no moving at the minute, but we've lost on uh, three. Oh, that's three. three. Three losses wow. um, as of last week. But I never used to have this with Dennis, I have to say. I've <laughs> never had three losses on, on, on a trade of the week. What's going on? Uh, but on a good side, yeah. is we have two winning trades right now. So uh, ah. GTH, we are at 1% profit, as you can see here. So we've been taken out at 1%. Okay. And eBay, we are currently locking in 2%. So technically, we're break even mm. if we get triggered out on eBay, right. which is good. So yeah. we're, that, not, we're not down uh, And that will much. happen, right? Unless it actually mm. gaps below it. That, that, that one, we've locked in that 2%. But we're not out yet mm. because one of the golden rules of trading is to let your profits run as long as possible. Having said that, though, ooh, it looks like it's coming down. Oh, that's mm. interesting. Yeah, it could be a little pullback before yeah. making a new high up here. That's mm. what we're hoping, right? It's a co above here. Yeah, very good. Very so good, very good. We can, we can only wait and okay. see. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> it's not as bad. You may stay. You may stay. It's oh, not as bad perfect. As For next week. Um, but we do have two new positions. The first one is SSP, which is EW Scripts Company. Um, once again, we see a nice downwards trend uh, since the beginning of May, well, end of April, actually. I really like this. This one looks really nice and tight, mm. right? So, so it really looks now. We, we've already had several of the red candles. So in a way, we kind of should have already been in this one here, right? Kind of. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah. But we still have an entry position on uh, yesterday's candle. Well, yeah, Monday's candle, sorry which is uh, a red candle, as Dennis is looking for as well. So it is still a potential opportunity. We're just now waiting for it to trade lower. Always get in, mm. let the market get us in, right? We never chase mm. anything. So yeah. make sure that it is going down and get you in. Okay, correct, what correct. else do we have there? And then the next one is uh, Garmin. So remember, we go long and short. We want to hedge against the market. So our long position is Garmin. We have seen an upward trend since the end of March. Market is was making new highs and made a drastic high at the beginning of September. So our hope or expectation is the market to react on this support level and then make a brand new high. Now on this one, um, we do have red candles. So it's nowhere we near as waiting. tight. Can you see that? It's nowhere near as tight Co as the other one coming Correct. down. You're relying on these ones here and it's been quite a few months. But what we're doing is playing the probabilities. That's all we're doing with a nice 1% mm -hmm. stop. No, it's not a 1%, it, it's 1% of our entire portfolio. So there's a calculation that you need to do. Um, and, and then you just play the probabilities, you know, and it's the risk reward ratio because we always want to be getting three times more than we are risking. That's the secret of trading. Most people don't mm -hmm. know that. No, of course, of course. And if you're following that risk reward, it actually means you have to be right 33% of the time for you to actually be profitable hmm. in the market, which is always great. So on this one, we are currently on the support level. We are waiting for a green candle, um, but we've placed our stop order there and we are looking at a 3.43% return. Very good. Anything happening in the markets you want to mention? So in regards to the market, kind of same stance as last week. We are seeing fear in the market still. Money is coming out of equities and commodities and being held as dollar. Uh, so your dollar is still increasing in strength. What does that mean for us? We still have another opportunity to enter the market in your bigger blue chip companies like your Johnson & Johnson, your Feasers, your Mastercards, your Apples, making sure they have fallen 
but some of the major blue chip companies are down, so it's a good, good investment for us to take. Mm. Maybe we'll have a look at some of those when we come to our VCA strategy. Anything else? We'll move to cryptos. No, I think that's all for Okay, stocks. so let's move into cryptos. Where is this money going? Keith says in dollars. I reckon it's going into mm. cryptos. That's where I think it's going. So let's have a look. Um, yeah. What, I mean, look, we're in so many different positions, but do you want to have a look at BTC? Yeah, so the first thing that we're looking at with Bitcoin is what is the current structure of the market? And for us, the market is showing bullish movements since the, uh, since the retracement at the beginning or end of April, sorry. So we are seeing the market now creating new highs, which is great. So we have two target points now for Bitcoin. The first one is here because this is the last time the market sold off and made a brand new low. So this is a crucial point. If we break above this level here, we could potentially see an all-time high in Bitcoin being created by the end of the year, which yeah. we want, right? Uh, not only <laughs> one, I'm expecting it. So come on, a BTC, hurry up. Um, so, so it's funny because we've been waiting months and in the world of cryptos, months is a long time. Mm. Of course, in terms of stocks, it's absolutely nothing. It's like nothing at all. But um, look, uh, really, once it breaks one of these, I mean, once it breaks its all-time high, it, it, you know, the next for me is definitely going to be, because it's an all-time high, so where can it go? Is a big round number, okay? Big, big, big round number. So we're looking at 100,000. Once it breaks above 100,000, all hell is gonna break loose. <laughs> That's all it. hell is gonna break loose. Then the next one could be 150, could even be 200,000. Who knows? Um, so if you're not exposed to BTC at the moment. You really should. You really, really should. That is very, very important indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But always do your own research, of course. What else? That's it. So in regards to the market, we've not taken really any profits now. Um, so we're still in the same position as last week. We're waiting for the market to push a bit higher. And because the market's been bullish, we've had no more new entries right. as okay. well. But there are a lot of positive news around crypto coming out. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, the one of the things is that um, backed debit card holders will now be able to spend their Bitcoin via Google Pay. That is a pretty big announcement. Mm -hmm. I mean, Definitely. Google is getting into cryptos. I mean, it's happening. It's behind the scenes. People, because look, no one wants to be the first. Right? But once, you know, the first, you start having payments with PayPal. Uh, you know, they were the first to break. And then, and then the others are going, oh my goodness, we're going to lose out of market share here if we don't quickly catch up. And so it is happening. What can I say? Behind the scenes. So don't miss out. Do your research. Get in just like I did in 2016, 2017, telling everybody not to get in because I didn't know about it. Not my finest moments. <laughs> not my finest moment. And then I did a deep dive and realized how much money I'd left on the table. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Um, so in regards to the market, it seems like everyone is adopting it. One big news for me, because as you know, I'm a ripple holder is um, the Federal Reserve are adopting the iOS 222, that's a mouthful to say, which is basically a new payment method on the blockchain and Ripple is compliant with that. So it could be, we're not saying it's gonna, but it could be something uh, that they're gonna try and utilize in regards to Ripple. Um, but well, I heard something else, by the way. I mm. heard that Swift had now come out with a competing product to Ripple. Yeah, but for me, Swift is the old, older method, and that's what crypto is doing. But they're that's upgrading, and they're the incumbent. That's the... Ooh, there's a fight. <laughs> ding, ding. Come on, Tyson Fury. So we, we got to just wait and see, but it could be positive news for, uh, for Ripple. So that he's already won, so it's a bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> that's it, a, a few back, days back late. Back the person who's already won. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little mistake as well. We do actually have some profits that we've taken. Oh, um, like yes. So the first one is uh, Polkadex, and we currently take took up a hundred percent of the profit. Finally, Polkadex. Polkadex. Finally, it, it oh took a my while. Goodness, it did take a long time. <laughs> so we made a hundred percent on that. So I think it's time that we can move on that one. Go for Ready? it. Move. Is that not? Yeah. So it's a Welsh one. No, it's very good. For a Welsh one, very good. <laughs> um, then we have Phantom. That once again, we took another 100% profit on Phantom, which is uh, positive for us. Yeah. So another moo here. Phantom, uh, percentage-wise, is now <laughs> starting to be one of my largest positions. I, not, I mean, percentage-wise. I think I'm up something stupid like, I, don't quote me on this, but 21,000% or something stupid. It is really like, where did that come from? I've been holding it for a while. So it does take time. You, you've got to be patient sometimes. That's it. That's it. Like for me, um, Cardano got me a thousand percent and it took a year, but I got a thousand percent, which isn't bad. Yeah, um, 
The next one is Cosmos, and we actually are up 200% on Cosmos, and we've taken profit on that. When did we take profit? Um, we took profit on the um, 21st. Okay, so no new, new no, news there. No, then. nothing on that one. That's a shame. Yeah, and then once again, one, uh, as Dennis has writ here, wrote here, sorry, we're milking uh, Harmony. Harmony. So one. this is another one that we've taken profit. Um, that triggered us in on the 10th of October. I think we need to milk this one. Here we go. Moo! Mine sounds like a cow. I, I'm not being funny, but mine actually sounds like a cow. But it's because my voice is higher. Okay. It's higher pitch. Is that good? Not really. Not really. <laughs> okay. And then we do have a new position on Axie Infinity, and I'm, I'm sure this is one that you do like, right? <sighs> well, when you say like, okay, so, so, you know, these games, I'm not really into games, I'm more into platforms, but it is a platform. It's so big now. It's like its own metaverse almost. So... I have to say, I did get in a few days ago, I think probably a little bit early, because <laughs> it's dropped since then. Um, but we are thinking about, um, you know, kind of saying this is a good one to get into, but you've got to do your own research here. Mm. Okay, so this is like a game that a lot of people are adopting. They are like, um, had revenues of something like 700 million, you know, <laughs> could, could, could be going to, to, to a billion, which is absolutely in incredible. And along the way, I, I haven't played it, I have to say. No. They, they, they create their own NFTs, you know, their mm. non-fungible tokens. And that's really it, interesting, I think, because NFT is the big buzzword. So I did put a very small position on Axie Infinity. Um, and it looks like minus 25%. So that's the one we're looking at mm -hmm. this week, um, Axie Infinity there. Um, and yes, always do your own research. Very, very important in, indeed. Definitely, definitely. So Axie Infinity looks good. So that's the crypto that we've got. But as you know, we do still love stocks and we do have a profit. One, one thing though, didn't oh. you want to talk about the ETF? The ET oh, the Bitcoin ETF, yeah. yes, going back to it. So um, I think this is positive news that an ETF is coming out for Bitcoin mm -hmm. itself, so allowing higher well, When is it coming out, Keith? Don't know the day yet. They've been talking about this <laughs> since 2013. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Honestly, <laughs> whatever. But if it comes out, it could be good news for years. Bitcoin. Yeah, 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 it could be. But I'm not <laughs> holding my breath. Obviously, an, an, an ETF, what that allows, and it's an exchange-traded fund. And so what that allows is for people to come in. That, that will be mass adoption uh, mm. because it will be really simple for people just to buy the ETF. And that could be made up of you know, Bitcoin probably to start off with. I think there's an Ethereum one in yeah. Canada. There, there, there's things happening in other countries, but the big one obviously would be in the United States. Uh, and then maybe an ETF, maybe of the top, uh, may maybe coins as well. That mm. would be amazing. Then people don't have to choose which one to get into uh, and, and just adopt. So listen, when we say things are happening, they are happening big time. And now is an amazing time for you to do your research. Mm -hmm. And talking about that, we're going to invite you. And, and it, the link is going to be somewhere here to our training, our crypto training, which I'm going to be doing live. And we're going to be doing that uh, what is it, this Wednesday? Yes, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow, the 13th. Okay, well, <laughs> if that's the case, please do make sure you have got um, some kind of a link here. It'll also be below as well. Two and a half hour of training on why cryptos are so important, but also the five strategies that we use. Some of them you see here, some of them you don't. But we're going to go through those and show you examples of those as well. So make sure that, A, you're on there yourself. Make sure you, you know, the whole evening, just make sure if you've got something else, doesn't matter. Also, get your friends and family involved. We are in the midst of the biggest tech revolution since the internet. You don't want to miss out on that. So please make sure that you are there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm adamant about that. So please make sure you're there. Definitely. All right. Very, very good. Definitely. So uh, leading on to the theme of crypto, we actually have now taken 15% profit on uh, Coinbase which is, is great. We've been waiting quite a long time with Coinbase. I mean, come on. We really have been, right? I mean, every single week. It was getting embarrassing, really. It was, it um, was. But we've managed to do that. And the only way we've managed to do that, of course, is by following the strategy, the mm -hmm. BCA strategy, by lowering our, 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 our average costs. So congratulations definitely, on that. That's definitely, definitely. So that, that's the one that we've taken profit. But this is one that I've, I've got into personally last week. And it's Johnson & Johnson. Remember, we're saying that the, the bigger equities, the bigger stocks of blue chip companies are beginning to fall. Um, and Johnson Johnson is one of them. Fundamentally, fundamentally strong, massively bullish 
uh, for years now. Okay, so it's it, such a great blue chip mm. company. I mean, when I, when I when I think about blue chips, I actually think of Johnson and Johnson. You know, um, there's been studies where every time there's been any kind of a market correction or crash, Johnson and Johnson is one of those kind of evergreen companies because it's got so many different products there that are used all around the world. You might not even know that you're using it. You know. And, uh, it's, it's, and, and that is why we will get in at the minus 10, because normally we would not get at minus 10, we would get in at minus 20. And obviously, we're hoping that it goes down even more. Do you want to show us some fundamentals on yeah, this? Yeah, so it? if you have a look, if we go to yeah. finviz.com, okay. and we load J&J. &J. Boom. OK, so Johnson & Johnson, as Marcus said, it, it is one of the largest blue chip companies around. Um, we do see a good low amount of debt, which is, is quite a shock for a bigger blue chip company because they do accumulate quite a lot of debt. We're seeing good earnings per share next year, over 5%. But this is the one thing that I really, really like. It's the return on assets, equity and investment. Because this is just showing how effective they are at generating money within themselves. Yeah. So anything over 5% for each of these is a positive here. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, fundamentally looks very, very good, having a bit of a pullback. But naturally, Johnson & Johnson drops around 20%, if that. So that's why we're Look, getting the 10%. We, we, we when we are going <coughs> in, right, um, we think it's a safe investment, but it doesn't matter what we think. So mm. it, what's important is that you do your own research as well. Uh, always use a strategy. Uh, we're using the value cost averaging strategy on that one there. So Definitely. I'll be really looking forward to what happens to that over the next <laughs> few months. Hopefully it goes down so we can accumulate some more, um, which is great because if it goes up, we're happy. If it goes down, we're happy. This that's is such it. a win-win. It's absolutely that's amazing. It. Okay, so that's it for this week. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the results. I'm a bit scared because we've got a big minus here, which I'm not used to. Yep. So in regards to the result, um, as you saw, we're 2% down on Buffalo for this week. But our eBay is covering that, so we technically break even if eBay takes us out. Okay. Um, fee say 15% return on money invested, which was our Coinbase, so it's up 680% now. Yeah, very good. Um, and then on crypto, as we see, our small cap were up over 400% on the money invested on small cap this week. Uh, which has taken us to 1,300%. 1,300%. It's 1,320% 1, <laughs> people. 1,300%. I think that Honestly, was the American way to say it. Uh, it's the, yeah. Let, let's face it, this is over 1,000. This is amazing. You know, in what, 14 months? That's, mm. that's pretty good. So we're just going to keep going on that. If you want those same results, especially these ones here, please do make sure that you're there on Wednesday. Wednesday, mm -hmm. it's going to be at 6.30. Uh, PM UK time to allow you know all the questions that I'm sure that you've got and we're going to stay there right until the end. The last training went on way past nine o'clock. We'd finished the training. It's just that you had a lot of questions. Yeah, you'd say you lot. You lot. You, not, you, you lot. lot. You lot. You lot. You lot. Because you lot have a lot of questions, right? <laughs> so, um, but basically, you know, make sure you're there. Get all your questions down, especially for those of you who don't believe in it. I'm really looking forward to answering all the questions that you've got on there. Like, you know, could it be a scam or, you know, could it be shut down? Um, you know, what about the regulations and all this kind of stuff? Let's get those questions going. Let's get them answered so that you can get involved as soon as possible and not miss out. I'll see you on Wednesday and I look forward to seeing you. Well, before that, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Why would you not, no, right? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Apparently, there's another button next to it called uh, some kind of an alarm or yeah. alert button or something like that because, mm. you know, to make sure that you know when this is coming out because you want to be getting these results, I'm hoping, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week on Trades of the Week.